Hello all, welcome to session 21 of Selenium Python training series. In this session, I am going to explain about locators. So let's get started. What are locators? Locators help Selenium in finding the UI elements on the web pages. That means without locators, Selenium is by default blind. By default, Selenium cannot find the UI elements on the web pages. It need to take the help of these locators to find the UI elements on the web pages. For example, there is an application like this, and this is the home page of this application. As we are human beings, using our eyes, we can see that there is a text box field here. Using our eyes, we can see that there is a search button here. Using our eyes, we can see other UI elements like text box, search button, images, product images, product uh, names, description of the products, everything, each and everything is a UI element on this particular page, guys. By default, Selenium is blind. It cannot see this particular UI elements as human beings we are seeing on this web page. So to help, to help Selenium, in finding this UI elements like text box field, button, and other things, we need to use locators, guys. Now, let me practically demonstrate the purpose of these locators using this Selenium IDE. In the previous session, I've explained how to install and use Selenium IDE. Now, in this session, I am going to use Selenium IDE to demonstrate the purpose of locators in helping the Selenium in finding the UI elements on the web pages. So, for that, Let's open this Selenium ID, which I have installed in the previous session. Once the Selenium ID is launched, you can select this option, create a new project. Give some project name, say project one, say okay. Now start recording. Give this URL guys, this particular URL, just give into the base URL here and say start recording. Maximize. Select some options, guys, randomly. We are in the login page now. Now stop recording. Give some test name, say test one, say OK. That's it. How many steps got recorded? Four steps. In the last step, select the last step, guys. After four steps, whatever the step is there, after the recorded steps, whatever the step is there, just select that. Now, what I want to do is I want to type text into the email address feed. I want to type this text into the email address field. For that, there is a command in Selenium ID that is type command. Using this command, type command of Selenium ID, we can type text into the text field. You don't have to learn about this, guys. The main focus of this session is all about demonstrating the purpose of the locators. Okay. I want to demonstrate the purpose of the locators in this session. So here, guys, Selenium ID, using this type command, need to type text into the email address field but the problem here is selenium or selenium id cannot directly or by default locate the email address in this field okay selenium id or selenium cannot locate or find the email address by default in this field for that we need to create a locator here we need to create a locator here so how to create the locator for this email address field select this email address right click inspect and you will get this HTML code of this particular email address field. There's something like ID is equal to copy this ID attribute value that is input iPhone email and go to the Selenium ID here type ID is equal to whatever the value you copied from this uh, attribute uh, value. You just copy it here. Okay. This is nothing but the locator guys. ID is equal to input email input iPhone email is the locator for this email address field. I'll explain more about the different type of locators. Uh, and uh, with practical demonstration in upcoming sessions. For now, blindly follow this. Whatever the, I created here, that is equal to ID is equal to input iPhone email, is a locator. Is a locator for locating this email address. Selenium ID or Selenium using this particular ID locator will locate this email address field. Without locators, Selenium is by default blind, guys. It cannot find. So, using this particular highlighted locator only, Selenium can find this email address field. To see whether the Selenium ID is able to locate this email address field or not, I'll click on this find target in page magnifier icon. When I click on this, you see email address field is getting highlighted. Let me do it again. When I click on this using this locator, I'm just seeing whether 
Selenium ID is able to find this email address field or not. For that, I need to click on this find target in page magnifier account. You see, it's getting highlighted. That means it's getting located, guys. Now, whatever the text you want to type into this uh, email address field, just type here. Type into this particular email address field, which is located by this uh, ID is equal to input hyphen email. Type what text I want to type this text. Amoto three at the red gmail.com. Okay, now let me run the code. I'll run this code. This test will uh, uh, this test will enter this email address into the email address field. Run this. Go to the login page, and you see in the email address field, a motor three at the red gmail dot com got entered. Here Selenium was by default blind, but with the help of this locator known as ID is equal to input hyphen email, it was able to find this email address field into the email address field. It has typed this particular type command has typed this particular email address. So hope guys you understood the purpose of the locators. Locators help Selenium in finding the required URL elements on the web pages. Without locators, Selenium is blind and it cannot find these URL elements on the web pages. In the next session or the upcoming sessions, I will cover more things about locators. Okay, in this session, blindly follow this locator, guys. In the upcoming sessions, I am going to explain these locators in depth. So you will understand everything about locators in the upcoming sessions. So that's it, guys. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.